welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the mario in sfml series and in this video we are going to make the camera follow mario but before we get to that first of all we need to change a little something uh, which is causing a little bit of problem so if i open mario.png you should see that i have previously this picture was 16 by 16 but now i have changed the size to 12 by 16 because mario is not like a scare uh, obviously because uh, uh, you know there were two pixels on each side of mario that were empty and uh, those two pixels were being translated to approximately 15 in-game units which is a pretty noticeable difference so it was causing a little bit of uh, problems in the collision detection so i have made this 12 by 16 so if i go under properties where they are if i go under properties you can see that the image size is now 12 by 16 and uh, if i go under mario.cpp um, i have uh, gone ahead and make the rectangle size 45 by 60 instead of 60 by 60 because uh, well if you do the math you should subtract 15 from the original size which gives us 45 so now let's go to ma main.cpp and get along with the camera implementation now there are a bunch of ways you could go about that but the evs method especially considering everything we have implemented so far so from the way we have implemented the things the best way and the best thing to do would be to just use you know sfml's view class so each window if you don't know has a view and a view is basically defines where the window starts where the center points are and where the window size is and everything of that because the window is you know we are providing it with a size here but uh, the actual you know actual in-game size so these are like the window is going to be 800 pixels wide but how many units are going to be displayed on those 800 pixels by default it's uh, set to uh, so that the actual size in game is similar to this is actually equal to uh, this and uh, uh, center is uh, uh, you know the, the point zero zero is at the top left corner so the idea is that what we are going to do is we are going to create an sf colon colon view uh, here uh, view and let's just call it view because we are going to have only one of these and we are going to set this to the default view so that whatever size and position we set here it automatically gets that so if you go and say window dot get default view it's going to give the default view of the window which currently is uh, you know uh, whatever there was previously so we are going to go in here and each frame we are going to update this view so let's first go ahead and say window dot set view uh, dot set view uh, if I actually type that set view and we are going to just give it the view that we have got so just say view all right now if I uh, go ahead and start the game but before I do that I have changed the map a little bit as well I have made the map uh, a bit uh, you know larger with a bunch of different things so that we can actually see the camera is following us currently nothing should change because we are essentially setting the same view over and over again so if I start uh, what you should see is that uh, yeah nothing changes Mario goes off screen then the camera does not follow him but uh, if I like come back you can see that Mario uh, is here so now we need the camera to follow Mario which is very very simple what we can do is we can go under view and we can go ahead and say view dot set center now since we want Mario to always be in the center of the screen we are going to use this set center method so that the center of the view is automatically adjusted from Mario's position but the size of the view will be you know uh, whatever this was because we use window that get default view which uh, essentially sets this to the default settings that we have got but we do not change the size which means the size always remains accurate so we can go ahead and say window do, uh, view dot set center and uh, uh, we are going to give the center here and i think it's uh, mario dot uh, let's go ahead and say mario and mario has got a rectangle uh, defining its position and size so we're going to go rect dot left here and um, then we are going to say mario dot get rect which will give the rectangle again and this time we are not going to go left but instead we are going to say top for the y-axis and this is essentially going to s make it work so if i start what you should see is that uh, uh you know yeah you can see that the camera is basically following mario wherever we go anyways guys this is pretty much it for this video and i will see you in the next one in which we i am thinking about trying to implement animation so yeah stay tuned for that and make sure to share this video with other paper people and uh, make sure to like and subscribe as well and bye